In a world of 7.9 billion people scattered across the globe from different countries, cultures, and traditions, it's important to have certain laws in place to govern the behavior of people in accordance with society's norms. Each country has its own set of laws laid out, and while most make sense, some do make you scratch your head in bewilderment. Welcome to Curious World, where we discover and explore the weird and wonderful world that we live in. In today's video, we are counting down the 10 weirdest laws that still exist today. Before we get on with the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Let's get on with it. Number 10. Don't wear this cartoon t-shirt in Poland. No images of this childhood cartoon character should ever be depicted on your clothes. Can you guess who this adorable cartoon is? I'll give you three hints. He's yellow, he loves honey, and this is going to give it away, his best friend is a pink pig. You guessed it right, it's Winnie the Pooh. While choosing a popular cartoon character to be a mascot for a children's playground in Tutsin, Poland, Pooh the Bear was almost finalized as the mascot owing to his popularity. However, many council members were worried about Pooh being a bad influence on the children. So what did Pooh do? Well, he just isn't dressed enough. Pooh was heavily criticized for the lack of underpants and was even called out for being a hermaphrodite. We haven't really given much thought to what's actually happening beneath Pooh's limited clothes, but he continues to be banned since 2014. So have they finally chosen the mascot? No official statement has been released so far, but the law remains in place. Poor Pooh. Number 9 it's illegal to fly a kite in Victoria, Australia. Let's paint a picture for you. It's a beautiful spring day and you can feel the gentle touch of the wind on your face. You see the rusting leaves and the waving flags. Ah, it's the perfect setup to fly a kite. But if you live in Victoria, a state in Australia, you will have to keep your plans of flying a kite at bay. Apparently, it's an offense. Under Section 4 of the Summary Offenses Act of 1966, any person who flies a kite or plays a game in a public place to the annoyance of any person will be held guilty. And when they say public place, it includes but is not limited to parks, churches, railway stations, boats, schools, markets, and licensed premises that serve alcohol. Under the legislation, this offence is titled Offences Relating to the Good Order of the Towns. So is flying a kite an unruly act? Well, it is in Victoria. If you want to challenge the jurisdiction and give this a shot, be prepared to shell out a minimum of $165 as a penalty for committing the offense. The maximum fine could even go up to $826. So much for flying a kite, huh? These penalty charges are steep enough to keep people from breaking the law. If someone does take the offense to court, the fees for the lawyer will be far higher than the penalty itself. And here's what's worse, it would appear on your record as a criminal offense. So next time you find yourself amidst the light breeze on a bright spring day in Victoria, maybe try hitchhiking in one of its vast national parks instead. But remember not to annoy anyone in public, because the same law applies to a range of other activities as well. Number 8. Ban on chewing gum sales in Singapore While chewing gum is a very American thing to do, can you believe that the sale of chewing gum is banned within the borders of Singapore? The ban was enforced in 1992, but in 2014, some exceptions to the rule allowed the sale of therapeutic, dental, and nicotine chewing gum. But here's the catch. These chewing gums require a prescription from a doctor or a therapist. How did this law come to be? Well, apparently, chewing gum in public places caused a lot of maintenance costs to the government. Sticky gum and wrappers could be found lying around the walkways and even in mailboxes. In 1987, the largest public project of $5 billion, local trains known as Mass Rapid Transit MRT, was introduced in Singapore. The public transport experienced vandalism of a new breed, where chewing gum was stuck on door sensors resulted in delayed trains. Though rare, it was a costly price to pay. With the introduction of the ban, officials gave a grace time for shops to clear their chewing gum stocks. The penalty for chewing gum was up to $2,000, as well as jail time for importers. This ban caused a lot of upheavals and brought about some public defiance. Some people went to the extent of going to Malaysia, a neighboring country, just to purchase some chewing gum. 
So before you pack your bags for Singapore, make sure to lock your stash of chewing gum away. You don't want the border security force to ruin your holiday over a gum. A sticky matter indeed. If you thought these laws were weird, wait for number one. It's the weirdest of them all. Number seven, running out of gas ban. Driving around a new country and exploring places by road is a great way to enjoy the scenic beauty the country has to offer. But what if you run out of gas? You would assume it's okay, you can just stop your vehicle and hitchhike with someone to the nearest petrol station and get some fuel. But on the Autobahn in Germany, it is illegal to run out of fuel on the highway. Here are some other car-related weird laws from around the world. In Russia, you are not allowed to drive around in a dirty car. You can be fined 2,000 rubles in Russia, which is around $27. But what about this one? In Sweden, you are required to have your headlights on 24 hours a day, even in the middle of the day. Number 6. It is illegal to walk into the Houses of Parliament wearing a suit of armour. Being elected as a Member of Parliament in the United Kingdom requires you to grace several official meetings. Apart from all the other responsibilities, choosing an attire to attend the House is given great importance. While any formal clothing would work, make sure you don't walk in wearing a suit of armour, not even for Halloween. You would be immediately expelled. This law was implemented in 1313 during the reign of Edward II. The law states that in all parliaments, treaties, and other assemblies which should be made in the realm of England, every man shall come without all force and armour. So what's the history behind this law? Piers Gaveston, a close associate of the king, was at the receiving end of the prying eyes of the nobility. It didn't help that Gaveston gave offensive nicknames to the nobles, who in turn showed their disapproval by remaining absent for the sessions. To prevent this, King Edward II would assign Gaveston on missions just outside London while the parliament was in session. But the nobles had other plans. They camped right outside London in full armour, ready to attack. So for his safety, King Edward II came up with this rule. But how relevant is the law today? Who in today's world would even wear something like that? Nevertheless, the law remains to this date. For a second, let's imagine someone did walk into Parliament wearing a suit of armour. Who is the first politician that strikes your mind? Who do you think would be behind the helmet? Let us know in the comments below. If you're enjoying our top 10 weirdest laws that still exist today, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And click on the bell icon to never miss an upload. Number 5. Walk your dog three times a day or get fined. Would you believe it if we told you that in some countries it is compulsory to take your dog out at least three times a day? And you don't just get a slap on the wrist, you can get slapped with a nasty fine as well. Here's what the law states. If you don't take your dog out for a walk three times a day, you'll be fined $650. Italy considers itself a dog-loving nation. Even cats are protected by the law. But according to statistics given by animal rights activists, between 15,000 dogs and 200,000 cats are abandoned in Italy each year. To prevent this, the Turin police are always on high alert to spot any sort of animal cruelty. In Turin, there is even a ban on selling goldfish in plastic bags. So for all you animal lovers out there, this North Italian city is a perfect haven. Here's some bonus content for you. We're bringing you some more weird dog laws from around the world. In Australia, our neighbours from down under have banned driving with animals like dogs, goats, etc. in a public place. It's also illegal to name the animal that you plan to eat later on. We don't mind the ban on the latter though. China, if you have ever had a dream of having multiple dogs in your apartment, then I suggest not to have them in China. China has a limit, one dog per household, and the dog should be up to 14 inches tall. Here's a weird one that might tickle your funny bone. You will be pulled over and fined if you are ever caught making ugly faces at any dog or even getting a fish drunk in Oklahoma. Number 4. It is illegal to hike nude in Switzerland. No, we swear we're not making this stuff up. People who enjoy hiking will just have to do it with some clothes on, for being nude is just too rude. This rule was implemented in Appenzell in Roden. It was initially famous for nude hikers due to its peaceful and beautiful meadows and valleys. Peter Schmidt, who openly stated at the annual Open Air Landsgemeinde, popular assembly that takes place in Appenzell town, It's ridiculous that Appenzell is getting an international reputation for such a despicable habit. But this is not the only place where naked hiking is popular. It is also very popular in countries like France and Germany. Switzerland, being a lot more conservative and traditional, has imposed a 200 Swiss franc fine on those who are caught naked hiking. Now we've reached our top three weird laws, and number one is going to be far weirder than you ever thought, so make sure to stay tuned. Number three, it's illegal to cut cacti in Arizona. Can you imagine that cutting down a cactus could land you 25 years in jail? No, we are not joking. 
This is because the particular variant of cactus in Arizona, the saguaro cactus, takes a long time to grow. They have a lifespan from 150 years to 200 years, so the plant would take generations to grow back into a mature plant. Did you know that the oldest cactus in the world is called Old Grandaddy? What an appropriate name, right? This saguaro cactus was 300 years old when it started to die in 1990. The cactus was over 40 feet tall and had about 52 arms before it died. Old Grandaddy was affected by a bacterial necrosis, turning it into a brown mass and the arms began to fall off. Old Grandaddy had garnered undivided attention from the visitors at the Saguaro National Park. Number two, no swearing in the UAE. I swear, please don't swear. Yep, there is a law in the UAE that prohibits swearing over apps and messages. One could land themselves with a hefty fine of $68,000 and imprisonment just for swearing. Expats could even be faced with deportation. In 2015, a 53-year-old Australian woman, Jody Muggy, was reported from the UAE for posting an image on Facebook of a car parked across the disabled parking space. After she posted it on the internet, one of the residents of the apartment filed a complaint to the police and she was summoned to the court for indecent behavior over the internet. When she came to pay the fine, she was jailed. Finally, after 53 hours in custody, she was deported from the UAE back to Australia. Here are some other strange laws in the UAE. Did you know that peeping into someone else's phone or clicking their picture without their consent is considered illegal in the UAE? Privacy of a person is given utmost regard in the UAE and violating this can land you with six months of imprisonment and a fine of up to five lakh dirhams, which is roughly $140,000. Number one, pronounce and spell your town's name correctly. The number one weirdest law that we've ever heard of comes from a town in Wales. The town's name is called Lanfirpul Gwyn Gilgoger U Quiendrob U Landus Iligogogoch. Well, we can't pronounce it either, but it's not surprising that it makes it to this list considering how long the name of this town is. The name was given for promotional reasons and means the Church of St. Mary in the hollow of white hazel trees near the rapid whirlpool by St. Tassilios of the Red Cave, which is more a set of detailed directions than a name. Maybe we'll just stick to its shortened name of Lanfair Pill, or Lanfair, because who has the time for a mouthful like that? Here is where it gets really crazy. It's a requirement of any person born in this town to spell the town's name correctly by the age of six and pronounce it by the age of 34. Why did they zero in on this golden age? We're not sure. There's probably another crazy reason for it. Given a chance, which law would you bring into action? Which is the craziest one that you've heard of? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and also hit the bell icon so you never miss a video from us. Till then, no matter how weird or wacky they might be, please do abide by the law.